It's a 3,700 kilometer quest to raise funds for mental health. Milton Regional Councillor Zishan Hamid will ride around Lake Superior this Victoria Day long weekend. To put that into perspective, this trip will be the equivalent of riding from Milton to the middle of Mexico. So far, he's raised over $6,000, which is up significantly from his original $600 goal. Hamid says this will go a long way to help residents dealing with mental health. Uh, unfortunately, mental health isn't covered by insurance or OHIP. Uh, so unless you have really good insurance, you end up paying somewhere between $140, $150, $160 an hour uh, for the help you need. And so what we're doing is trying to raise money to provide free mental health therapy for people in need. So we're actually routing the money through a community foundation of North Halton, uh, which will then use other organizations that provide uh, mental health services. So one of the organizations is called Nasiha. Uh, what they do is they simply pay the therapist directly, and that way anyone in need can find their own therapist to uh, work with. This fundraiser hits close to home for Hamid as he's had to battle with his own mental health over the years. It turns out that I always struggled with anxiety. I just didn't know it was called anxiety until it was diagnosed properly. Uh, but you know, it shows up in lack of sleep, shows up in a lot of stress and frustration and, and, and lack of attention and a lot of other ways. Uh, and during COVID, when we weren't allowed to leave the house, we were all stuck at home and someone in my role that's meeting people all the time, it was a huge shift. And suddenly it, 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 it really hit me hard. Uh, and, and so that's when I started looking and my doctor was pretty helpful. He was able to kind of prescribe some medicine that kind of worked out eventually. Uh, and, and I realized I had to do something. And I got a small motorcycle, small cheap motorcycle to try it out and I really enjoyed it. So it ended up with something massive like this. Now this isn't Hamid's first attempt at going on a long distance ride. Yeah, last year I went up to Wawa, Ontario. Unfortunately, I wasn't as prepared, so you can see the windshield on my bike. I didn't have a windshield. Uh, and I didn't realize how aggressively temperatures drop. So when I left Milton last year, it was around 30 degrees Celsius. In Wawa, it's, it was two degrees. And when it's two degrees Celsius, you're on a motorcycle going 80 kilometers an hour and the wind hitting you, it's, it's cold. So second time's the charm. Second time's the charm. Well, hopefully, hopefully. But this year, I'm more prepared. You can follow Hamid along his journey through his social media pages, especially on Instagram. For more information and to make a donation, you can go to CanadaHelps.org. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.